Minister Dr. Irving Han, His Excellency Ambassador David Edelman, Duke Charles of Health Affairs, Dr. Victor Zhao, the Board Chairman, Mr. Tony Chu, Mr. Tony Tan, our graduates, parents and families, ladies and gentlemen. How time flies. In 2005, the Duke and Rice Graduate Medical School was a dream and a black sheet of paper. In the two years that followed, great faculty were hired and a groundbreaking new curriculum was created. As Minister has mentioned, we were, we were very lucky to have a truly wonderful starting team. Duke Ennis Chairman, Mr. Tony Chu, provided superb leadership, careful attention to details, and counters good meals with fine wines. <laughs> Only first growth. From Duke, Chancellor Victor Zhao was a pillar of strength, working with us to set clear directions and strategies. Professors Sandy Williams, Tan Sikiet, and Suki Chi were masterly in planning and execution. And this will enter the mythology of Duke and West because it is rumored that Dean Williams, together with Bob Kame and Pat Casey, had a big chart which projected daily tasks to be completed for the whole two years of preparation. Yet, as Minister mentioned, when we first started selecting students for the first class, it was with some degree of anxiety. In fact, it was a bit like sitting for an exam. But we were truly delighted with the outcome. These recollections infuse today's event with a special meaning as we celebrate with the class of 2011 the completion of your four years of study, a historic moment that we are truly proud to share with you, your families and loved ones. Even as we applaud your many talents and achievements, what really stands out is your pioneering spirit. Even as you gained a world-class education, you were also blazing the trail, setting the standards and patterns and perhaps the culture and tradition for future classes of students. You can therefore look to the future with confidence, a future full of a myriad of opportunities to be a driver for positive change. The training and medicine which you've received is a gift, a special gift that can help save lives, relieve suffering, and restore health. It empowers you as you enter the world of practice to touch and change the lives of the patients you serve. While this is indeed very fulfilling, your ability to forge positive change can go far beyond. There is a vital need to continually transform medicine through research. And with your training and backgrounds, I hope that many of you will go on to pursue research that will advance knowledge and practice which will help shape the medicine of tomorrow, particularly for this part of the world. But even as you think of the options for the future, perhaps your biggest challenge will be that you may have too many options. I recall how I felt when I first graduated myself as a doctor in 1983. I'm sure, like you, I was happy, relieved, excited, but also a bit anxious about what the future or held in store for me. As it turned out, I was very lucky to have a varied and very enjoyable career. I trained as a clinician scientist, I had a chance to participate in medical education. I learned a lot about public health in the Ministry of Health and now I'm involved in the very exciting task of higher education. With this, the only advice I think I can offer to you is when faced with the tough choices about your future, choose not just with your head, but with your heart as well. And whatever you choose, don't spend too much time thinking whether you made the best choice. Give it instead your very best effort. Because fulfillment and life and work comes when you're fully committed to what we believe in and work in the service of others. So to the class of 2011, your future beckons you with great promise and potential. Your immersion in the Duke and US culture of excellence, boldness and imagination, the innovative clinical and research training you've received, and the pioneering spirit you epitomize 
All these will enable you to make a real difference to our patients, to our community, and to society. In time, many of you will surpass many of us to leave your legacy, not just in medicine, but in society and in the world. So with that, once again, my heartiest congratulations to you, your parents and loved ones. I wish you every success for the future. Thank you.